Hey, what's going on, Jurassic World fans around the world, and including myself, and also the love of my life. She's uh, doing something at the moment. But, um, yeah, I just figured I'll do this video for you guys and share with you guys to let you all know that I think I went just a little overboard. I don't know what you guys think. So, um, I got a couple of die-cast vehicles I wish to share with you guys. And actually, I picked this one up today, recently, for six bucks. You can't go wrong with those prices, which is pretty good, because, for one, you never know when they're going to have these Jeeps available anywhere else. So, other than that, um... I'm also going to unbox the rescue truck, which is never even shown in Jurassic World at all, which is weird, but I'm assuming that would be the 6x6, or uh, that one vehicle that Claire was driving, which is the, uh, I think it's an ambulance, so like that could have been it, and uh, I'm assuming that the um, Mercedes... She is one of the rescue vehicles, so, uh, yeah. But, um, anyways, let's get down to unboxing these amazing vehicles, die-cast vehicles. This is just a portion that I have right now, okay? Everything else I have, um, on my main, in my room. So, uh, I'll show you guys those here in a little bit. Okay, so first off, we're going to start is with the Jeep, even though I already have a Jeep up there, which I think is a pretty cool idea to put it on top of the 6x6. So, I also got the T-Rex over there, and two RC Jeeps, even though they control each other at the same time, B&B, &B, or actually A&A. Uh, &A, um, yeah, A and A, which is funny because these both control each other at the same time. This one doesn't because it has its own uh, going on, which is B. So this one's B, and these are A's. They're both A's. And these are just the diecast vehicles. Okie doke. Alright, so first we're going to start off is with the Jeep Wrangler, which is pretty awesome. 1992 Jeep Wrangler, so fair. So, uh, we're going to do a little unboxing, just like we did to that one right there. Um, I would prefer to keep it in the box, but, um, that's why I'm going to keep the boxes along with, uh, everything that I have here. So, all I could say is, you guys, this Jeep looks... 10 times better compared to the uh, the RC versions as you see here because for one it has the Sahara lights and it also has the correct Jeep Wrangler 1992 look and yeah um, I wish they would have done the same things, the same to the Jeep of the RC instead of the, uh, circle lights. Because I don't understand why Jada would do that to, uh, this, the, you know, the newer version of the Jeeps compared to what we have here. Because this is legit, you know, this is more 100% better compared to this, you know. And what I don't understand, this one's JP29, Jeep 29, and this one's Jeep 12. So what they should have done is just basically um, <laughs> used... 
this one as number 12 and the one I have there in the excuse me I get enough lighting and the one there should be Jeep 29 I don't understand why they did it that way um, especially for a die cast vehicle there we go which I can understand why they did it which is no big deal really I mean it still looks cool other than that you can see my other die cast vehicle back there behind the gyrosphere to make it more look you know more movie accurate and the one I have down here. I have two of them. And the one and only Indominus Rex. Which is amazing. First is the T-Rex that I have over here. Gotta love that. In all its glory. Why not? And also the Matchbox cars that I have. And even on my... Oops. Even on my backpack, I have one here. Why is it lighting around here so bad? See? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Take that wherever we go. Rather, if we're going to Universal Studios. And this is my keychain, Jurassic Park keychain, along with the Matchbox uh, Jeep, which they've done a, a pretty good job to it. I like it a lot. Ten bucks for those ones, which is not bad. Can't beat it. And next we're going to unbox is the rescue truck. So that way uh, you guys will get a good better view from there. And I'm using the screwdriver to unscrew the bottom. So overall, huh, I think I might have a little outdone myself. Of course the missile is somewhere around here because I've been playing with it. And yeah, here's the 6x6 die cast and also the 6x6 RC along with some figures that I have here as well. And some more, my old Jurassic, Lost Roll of Jurassic Park figure, Kennard, which is amazing. I still even have one of these. <laughs> And another figure, which is the Stegoceratops. It's pretty a nice little addition to the uh, JV collection. And also the Matchbox toys that we kind of went nuts over. So, eh, even though these are not in the movie, these are pretty darn cool. So, there's the map for Jurassic World. It tells you where to go. They had these over there at Best Buy. Got a whole bunch of them. Scored a bunch of them, which is pretty cool. And uh, the gyrosphere in the back, along with another die cast, um, which is the uh, Mercedes G. So, um, anyways, you guys. Overall, loving the details in these vehicles. They're amazing. And uh, they look pretty good. I like it. I've been playing with them a lot, as you can tell. And here's the other Indominus Rex figure back there. I need to go get me like a, a shelf so that way uh, I could put all my toys in there and set up on top of a printer for now. But overall, that's everything. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this amazing 
tour review this thing I got right here at Universal Studios. <laughs> Even though my annual pass is expired, well for our annual. Even though our annual pass is expired, both of our passes did, sadly. But we will we will renew them again sooner or later. So this is my JP collection. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh also the real wristband instead of the Target versions. And of course we bought the Target versions too as well. We got like almost sixteen out of uh, different varieties, different colors, which is this one right here, even though it's not the real version, but still, it looks pretty cool. That's the real one right there, so, but anyways, um, till next time guys, I will see you all later, and Indominus Rex says bye too as well. Seen the movie Jurassic World three times, and I kid you not, best movie ever. So, uh, love it a lot, and so we'll see when we get the DVD. When it comes out, we'll watch it again. So, anyways, you guys, I'll see you all later. Have a good one. Be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And uh, part two of the unboxing video that I haven't even done yet, which will be soon. I'll let you guys know on that one too. And I'll see you all later. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this crazy, amazing toy run. And for sure, it's been uh, like a crazy May 1st. And um, <laughs> pretty happy about this. And... Uh, Definitely, definitely for sure. Um, hopefully one day we'll get the Mosasaurus. And uh, I do know for a fact that they do have it on Amazon. There's some things on Amazon that you can get. Like the Dilophosaurus and all that good stuff. So hopefully down the line uh, for like 10 bucks, You can't beat that, which is not bad. And... Um... Yeah, so other than that, uh, please definitely share this video if you're a Jurassic World fan. I know there's a lot of you out there who are probably still on a scavenger hunt for figures and all that good stuff. I mean, keep looking, guys. Keep looking. And uh, hopefully you'll find them on Amazon, too, as well. It all depends on which ones you can find and which ones you can get. So... Um, I have been working my butt off at my last security job that I'm still with. It's just been saving, saving, and I've been so prepared for this to actually buy these amazing uh, die-cast vehicles and also the uh, 6x6 RC, and uh, it's been crazy. So I pretty much have, you can say I have all these as we speak rescue truck so other than that you guys if you haven't already be sure to click that subscribe button for some more amazing videos coming up soon and um, yeah here's what is called the Mercedes G G class 4x4 which kind of looks like the 6x6 if you guys think about it it's got the same look, it's got the same style to it in the front, uh, which is pretty interesting. I am still on the hunt to get the two raptor, uh, the raptor head and also the T-Rex head that you put in your, your hand like that and you open up and down. And I am also going to get the Legos too, I just haven't come around that yet because the Legos are super duper like uh, expensive of course, which is like 100 and forty dollars for the uh, Indominus Rex and uh, they're they're pretty cheap if you think about it um, which is not bad and seventy dollars for the T-Rex capture uh, which is pretty awesome and uh, yeah you guys so you can still definitely find these over at Target if you get lucky and uh, definitely keep on shopping for you know keep looking around so um 
hopefully I can get the Mosasaurus. And I have Indominus Rex back there. I don't know if you can see him along with the Gyrosphere and the other uh, 4x4 back there. So, um, at this point, I'm pretty much set for now.